So selecting a college major is very daunting. <laughs> As you don't wanna waste your time, you don't wanna waste your money. Time is very precious and time is very expensive in college. And you really don't know if any major that you select is the right major for you. But at the same time, you want to find that field that you are truly passionate about. And perhaps you're watching this video to determine if architecture is in fact the right major for you. So today I will be talking about the architecture major and hopefully today's dialogue can inspire you to ask yourself some really critical questions and hopefully you can determine if architecture is in fact the major for you. And I hope it is. I really do. I firmly love architecture and yeah, let's just get right into it. <laughs> It's your girl Nat here and I am back with a highly requested video actually and you guys kind of wanted me to talk about uh, architecture and hopefully like I said in the intro today's dialogue can really inspire you to do a lot of self-reflection and hopefully you can determine if architecture is the right path for you. I have a bunch of other videos on my channel like 16 things I wish I knew, things I hate about architecture, all that stuff and I would highly recommend watching those videos if you want more of a in depth kind of reflection on architecture and the major as the whole. On this channel, I always strive for transparency, um, so I really don't sugarcoat anything. And even though I do have some negatives about architecture, I funnel a lot of time into this YouTube channel, which is about architecture. So needless to say, I love architecture. If you're new here, be sure to like this video and tap that sexy little bell icon down below. And we have a Discord, Patreon, all that good stuff. So do whatever you feel comfortable with doing. And without further ado, let's just get right into it. So if you were like me, I had intense anxiety when selecting my major. So for my undergraduate institution, I went to Ohio State. I just had no clue what I really wanted to do with my life. I wanted to select a major that would make my parents proud of me but I also wanted to select one that aligned with my personal creativity levels and something that I can see myself doing on a day-to-day -day basis. And if you are a high schooler watching this video I just hope you also understand that college in general will expose you to a whole new world of learning and a different style of learning. Not only did I have a culture shock but I had like my educational world was shattered as I learned in such a new dynamic way and I was really Really excited about it. Generally speaking, architecture is such a beautiful mix of the sciences, mathematics, the arts, all that good stuff all blended perfectly into one field with a little sprinkle of business on top. <laughs> so throughout my time in college, I had to take art classes. I never had to take a business class, but I am taking one in grad school. So many architecture history classes, art history classes, that's pretty predominant in the curriculum. Drawing representations classes, graphic design kind of focus classes, and so on. So my science classes were like physics, Mathematics classes where I took a mathematics class for architects, which was basic algebra, and I've had to take calculus too. Business classes typically come a little bit later in your educational career, so if you are an undergrad and you aren't taking any business classes, seriously don't worry about it. I just know in graduate school we have to take a uh, like professional seminar if you are interested in running your own firm or practice learning about the business aspect to an architecture firm. Now, if you are currently in high school, here are some things to think about. Please consider your personal passions right now. What really engages you in school, in your classes? What are you spending your free time on um, outside of just relaxing and watching Netflix? Like if you had no technology for a day, no schoolwork for a day, what was something that you would do, really? For me, I was always drawing. I absolutely love fine art. That has always been a passion of mine and always trying to draw something better each time I decided to pick up a pencil. Also, ask yourself, do you like ceramics, 3D modeling? Do you like building little mini models from Hobby Lobby? All this is a really good sign that maybe architecture is in fact the major for you. Also, another really good thing to consider in architecture is that you will all the time be working with partners and group projects 
just because you're never going to solo design a building by yourself, except for maybe the first couple years in school, but after that, it's a lot of partner projects. So do you work well with others? It's a good question to ask, and can you see yourself working with others in partnerships and group projects for the rest of your life? And also, another good self-reflecting question to ask is, how well do you personally handle constructive criticism? Now don't stress if you don't handle constructive criticism super well, that is okay. A lot of the skills that I'm talking about, I also developed a lot in college. So take a deep breath. If you are fretting that, oh crap, like I like art, but I don't like business, like don't worry about it. Like if you know that you aren't that great at math and calculus, don't worry about it. There's always this, what's that one meme? Saying that like architects are engineers that don't do math or something like that, but it's true, it's true. We really don't do that much math um, that we just kind of brush that off our plates and kind of hand it to the structural engineer, but it's okay, don't stress. I'm not trying to dissuade anyone from studying architecture. Now, as for the architecture degree itself and the primary reason as to why I switched my major from design to architecture, at Ohio State, here it is. You can do so much with an architecture degree and I don't think a lot of people understand this or realize it. Like I said, I majored in design foundations and then I transitioned into architecture and the main reason and the only reason I did that is because my dad, I've mentioned a couple times, he works in construction and he works with a lot of architects. He had his one buddy call me and he said, anything that I wanna do in my life, I can do with an architecture degree. Now, at the time I was considering I wanted to design furniture or some kind of like cool products or something. And that's why I was leaning towards industrial design over interior design. And I called him and he was like, listen, you know, you don't, you're so young, you have so much of life ahead of you and you have so much time to discover your passions. However, everything that I want to do, and he's totally right, anything that I wanted to do at that point in time, I could do with an architecture degree. So if you want to do stage design, you could do it with an architecture degree. If you want to do interior design, you can do it with an architecture degree. If you want to do real estate, you can do it with an architecture degree. Civil engineering is going to require a little bit more work, but you can still transition into civil engineering with an architecture degree. You can do carpentry, urban planning, so much with an architecture degree. But, but, but the converse is not always true. If you major in real estate, chances are you won't be able to transition into an architecture degree. If you do interior design, you won't be able to do architecture. I'm not saying that you can never do architecture. However, architecture allows for that beautiful transition into another professional field, or you can take other classes on top of your architecture classes if you are confused about what actually are your passions in life because uh, it's so stressful. And I understand if you are 17, 18, 19 years old, being asked to pick a major that you're gonna study for the rest of your life is really, really stressful. And honestly, I don't really like it that much, but whatever. So now let's talk about salary. So salary is another very important thing to consider when you are selecting your major. Now, my aspirations are to, in fact, become a licensed architect, but I am fully aware of the fact that when I am interning, getting those internship hours, if you wanna know actually how to become a licensed architect and are confused about what I'm saying, check out that video. You're kind of the low man on the totem pole right now and you aren't gonna get paid well. And even once you pass your licensing boards, you probably still aren't gonna be paid super well. Now you can really work your way up that ladder and get paid six figures, no problem, no questions asked. However, for the first couple years, working in the field of architecture, it is gonna be a little bit more financially stressful, I would say, but it's not saying that there's not opportunities for growth. So the average annual income according to Way Up for an architect is about $79,000 US dollars. And like I mentioned, there are gonna be higher salaries paying upwards to 120,000 US dollars. 
So salaries are very important when selecting a major. I know that money can't buy happiness, but they do buy the house that you want, the car that you want, the food that you eat. So I don't know. I mean, I think originally when I was in high school, I would love to do art full time. Um, however, I don't want to be the starving artist. I want to travel. I want to pay off my car. My car's name's Winston, you know, all that good stuff. So salaries do matter. Overall, please keep in mind that you really can't determine if you love the major or not until you actually are in it. <laughs> and I know that kind of sucks, but I hope that watching these kinds of videos kind of helps you think a little bit more about if architecture is in fact the major for you. If something is drawing you personally to architecture, heck you made it this far in the video, right? Maybe you should just give it a shot and let me know how it goes. About 80% of the students in the United States actually end up changing their major too, so seriously, no stress if you do end up changing your major. Architecture is very time intensive and it kind of can deter a lot of people from studying it. However, once you you find joy in the actual work and understand your impact being an architect. It's so cool. It's so freaking cool. Um, and you just need to think like that. So at the end of the day, it's okay. It is your life and you have the power to study anything you want. And if you do end up majoring in architecture, congratulations. And I hope that you consider subscribing to this channel. This channel hopes to help other architecture students and architects and anyone who likes architecture better understand our built environment. I also don't want to just regurgitate everything I said in the intro, but I have a bunch of other videos on this channel about uh, if you're iffy and wishy-washy on majoring in architecture that you can go check out. Other than that, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for making it this far in the video, and I hope to see you next time. Stay safe out there. Love you guys.